number eight. Hmm. Seven songs of her song. She sang seven songs of love. Like I told you, she sang songs of love on the wind, and the wind made a love song to breathe the breath of life into life. He came about from the fourth crescent, from the third and fourth crescent. He wore seven mantles, seven mantles of love at all times. This was done in order to go in and out before the congregation of the people. And the people wanted a name, a name for this love and her seven stages, for they had been taught to think lineal, dogmatic teachings from the church, you know, defining the undefined. How can you define the undefined without being in both? How can one define love in words anyway? For love is love. Love is life and life is love. Action in love, a spinning of the good and the better best, and experience without words on opinions. Experiencing experiences, that's love. Experiencing your experiences. A wind song in the rhythm of the soul, a willing, unwilling, moving in the spirit, the unconditional making love with the conditional, a blind, unjudgmental, resolving, unresolving flow into love on love. And the people bowed down. Her last song, Lustless Love. My love. Lust had the nerve to lust after love, after all that. And lust became integratively woven into love's chambers. Then lust faded into an evaporated cloud. This was the fate of lust and all that she left. Frankly, lust experienced love for the first time and gave up all its better ill attributes and was made whole by love. There, lust lost its identity forever on. Love then took up the rest of the yielding ingredients and seduced lust. Yes, seduced lust to go into the cleansing pool, baby. And bathe lust is sick and desires all away, pin of anger, pin of lust intentions forever. Lust, unhealed energies were released into the open abyss, and the lust and love was healed, healed unto pure desires. The seeds of lust budded, budded into a joyful song. Now the true picture. Lust, when it got all down into love, itself slew its own lust while beholding love and desire to trade places. Yes, to even stand in proxy for love. The true lust came out of lust, went into the arenas of love, and stopped all of its name calling without end. For love scooped fear up, stopped lust. And then the unpure side of lust was stayed in the abyss and was pronounced dead on arrival. Love had taken the 
the, 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 the sting away. True lust was seen transformed into holy tantra desires rising out of love with a joyful song called the cleansing stream. I see, I see, beholding love, I see. And then love began to work on guilt and fear and twisted guilt and fear. Ah, uh, but she loved wisdom. She sang a song, a twisted song about how love carried guilt close to her bosom in order to rock guilt while she sang. For guilt was the fear in guilt and full of fear and had to be modified and melted down from her dreadful, harmful mass through the centuries, uh, you know, working with that doggone church, that organized religion of sinners supposedly propagating love. But now she sang of guilt and quilted and quieted her tones, an affect to a harmless grind. She actually took the guilt sting out of existence and fear lost her ugly hand. But again, fear rose her ugly head from her formless form and weep for fear cause he sang her song is dead. Remember he with the seven mantas, she has now adopted the song of love down into love's hinter parts. For love scooped fear up with a song. She sang it up under wind. Fear became only a fearless form, y'all, called alone in love's hinter pocket. Wow. Love sang her upon the wind. Love rocked. She sang a song of love, the call and response. Glad, great, greatness, greetings after the fall of guilt and fear. Love on love, join mercy and truth upon the wind. Righteousness and peace kiss. She sang a song of love, her love song of love, love's lost love. There were pilgrims in America to reorder and stimulate real spiritual quests. Guilt way back became the weapon of the church, fear the weapon of the higher ups, sacred, low-minded, greedy oppressors of society. The two combined to ultimately control. Fear was trampled on. Here's love again. Love trampled fear like a beast tramples on a trampoline. And afterwards, love rolled fear up into a spitting ball. When rolled, she had to use an everlasting sealer as a seal to seal fear's fate, and fear was flung further away than far into a land called Plum ne Never. Never returned, that is, into a sea called forgetful, and there was rocking in the camp. Freedom reigned with love. Guilt had lost its quench. Fear had lost her taste and shape. She became the real whore she was, exposed the church of her own guilt crimes through the centuries, and the people 
of European descent will return to pre-Christian eras and to their own true state, like the real Christ taught before a Constantine came on the scene. And there, love reshaped hope. Love reshaped hope. Zach 2012. Number nine, I want to be with you. I want to be with you. Love cited love on the other side of the universe. This is I want to be with you. Number nine. Love cited love on the other side of the unborn universe and the thought essence dropped in her heart. I want to be with you. And in a fleeing moment, the whole galaxy, universe, worlds without worlds, glued together in orgasmic love making in order to, for love to be in her cove with love. And love stars appeared out of the heavens onto the earth, tremors of love and love said to love, you be my love star forever. Amen. Amen. Raw. Zach, 2009. The last poem is Safely. It is from the series Come Here. Come here close. Lay your head on my shoulder safely close your eyes and cry joyfully bring yourself to slowly recline around down in my loving arms with this new found sun and dance an open dance with me for we are one and one and one made two like apples on a lemon tree hurt won't enter this realm of trust we set up for future days to come bring yourself to know to the know into my eyes and yours ours come here close to me come into my softened breast set up on a cupped nippered strine rest your head in between the edge of my thighs breathe free and safely be i will milk your brain so that you may know my insides and honor and honor my peace within upon this the depend and miss clue not intentions pure as can be with me lie down lay down between my open openness beg to be listened to through unwounded threads unleashing upon you and I know you will behold my essence, my respect. You will stay there, my man, until totally transformed into the holy being who we really be and be free. Be free from influences from the other side that cause you to downgrade me and to not respect and to treat me 
undeserving. For we are not in the tow, my man. I want you to safely, safely be. Zach 2017. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Blessings.